Is that an orange on a capybara in old school runescape? That's right. Now we have Hunter's Guild in the newest continent of Varlamor. It's not fully released yet. Apparently you can get Slayer tasks, but for Hunter, it just tells you what to hunt. Also, with the release of this new area, four new quests were released, and I completed this first one at first light because it was in the Hunter's Guild, so it must have been something with a hunter. Maybe it improves something. Inside the Hunter Guild, you can climb down this tree. And I guess this is going to be one of those places we'll have to get used to because there's so many NPCs. You just right click and you see Guild Hunter Ordnance Adept. So I guess it's not like the highest tier. There's just too many people also. There's the expert guy. I don't even know if I can get it. What 82. So apparently, rumors is that what they call a slayer task but for hunter this rumor was about a saber tooth cabot you'll need to bring back some of its fur i don't even know how to hunt these things yeah these guys have to catch the thing is that it didn't say how many i have to catch so i, I was expecting like a slayer counter or something you know like a slayer helmet you check and it says like oh this many remaining but from what it said it almost feels like just catch one of them although this guy says so you have to get an item when you check the trap cabot or cabity tuft also, as I'm setting these traps, what the hell is this? Not meat? What? Like, each of these is just called not meat. Don't eat this, okay? It does feel kind of outdated because you can only set up one trap. If I try to do this one, it doesn't allow me to do that. But also, this does not give that much hunting experience. It's only 200 per one caught. So I assume that you do these contracts to get hunter experience and possibly for some sort of points that you get, maybe you can buy something. But yeah, if it's for hunter experience, then uh, this task is... Ooh, it's not good, unless the reward is good, as in XP also. Should I not collect all this loot and then sell at the end? In fact, how about we try to sell it right now? Cabot teeth. There's no way that these will be going for 5,000 each. There's just so much more supply right now because of this update. It still says that it should be going, but let's see. Mm -hmm. Bro, so you could just like kind of go to any world and just collect the teeth as a level three it is also very important to not forget a bone crusher if you're hunting things that can draw bones so like birds and stuff or maybe a bone crusher necklace if you already have it combined because now if i check the boulder no bones will be coming in my inventory it gives plus five prayer experience and it's just one less item to worry about although you do have to drop this not meat thingy they actually made a sound also as if uh, you used a lamp or something you find a rare piece of creature you should take it back to the hunter's guild yeah the xp an hour is terrible it's only fifteen thousand, but it looks like it took me like 37 minutes or so to finally get this pelt okay so if i click rumor 4.7 thousand experience in hunter also hunter's loot sack tier 2 i'll mark that off the report for you would you like another rumor uh yes please there's been rumors of rare a red chinchompa coming in once you find it bring it back with one of its claws i came to the red chinchompa area i thought there's two people catching red chinchompas no this guy is catching larupias which is something you almost never see but that is because of the hunter update oh, it's so early as well only after 29 days sean was caught there's a fair thing called ajp you can teleport near the oasis it's not really near the hunter's guild but you kind of have to walk a little bit there's apparently some sort of uh, amulet that i can get i kind of want to open these though hunter's loot sack tier two let's go one oh my god what the hell is this a raw pyre fox there's raw kiat well you can get like actual their own meat sun-kissed bones and the other one also gave quetzal feeds so google a little bit we're gonna come back to this a little bit later and apparently just like slayer where the first five tasks don't give you anything and after five tasks you can get this amulet and then we're gonna try to make it into permanent amulet like in infinite teleports to this area hmm long cabot spike only a couple of them is what as much it must be above 10k 13,000 each okay got it so quickly there was like one two three four caught and that says now i can teleport back wow it is so rng based like the first task literally took over half an hour this one less than one minute so i'm expecting the same amount 4.7 thousand experience yep thanks for that market yes please another one odd red salamander took maybe seven minutes saber tooth kiat that could check out for me i think i'm going to drop these raw kiat meats these are the new ones apparently there's something to do with the meats that you can do at the hunter's guild as well but they go for like 1000 each so i could just buy them in grand exchange also something that i noticed is that when you're catching these kiats you get two different types of hide so tatty is like very cheap one it goes only for 600 each but the normal one goes for 10,000 each and somehow 
I just got more of those, of, of the good ones. A extra money making method, RNG based dragon impling was found and I should probably sell it because it's probably, oh my god, 600k. Well, I'm gonna open it right now because Jesus Christ, well, how to make 10 times less? Let's go. My inventory was full, so I couldn't get this item. I apparently can get it on the floor, even though it has a destroy option. An odd razor backed cabot. Oh my god, just please find the carrot bush. I hate this. You know how dead this cabot catching method is? There's no rune light plugin. Not in the GitHub, not even in the official hunter. There's like barely any options in the official one. Where the hell do I need to search this? Is this the last one actually? Can I just attack it? No. Come on, find the path. Oh, that's the one. Attack it. Is it with the noose wand? Yes, for 348 experience. Okay, out of all tasks so far, it's this one that I will hate because there's just no plugin. But at least it took like, what, 20 catches to finally get the tuft. This rumor was about a sunlight antelope. It's one of the new creatures that was added. So here's one of the issues with this. Maybe there's some sort of list that I can bring with you, but I just AFK'd for a little bit and I just forgot what monster I got, especially since I think it was some sort of antelope, but how do you check it? There, there's literally nowhere to check. Sunlight antelope. Okay. God damn, look at these things. So it's pretty much like La Rupia or Kiats. You just basically trap the pit. You jump over, but they will not go over because he's stuck. And then you jump and hopefully the success chance is big and he's not going to be jumping over and over over this. This is apparently where you can also upgrade your hunter bow and you will always get these sunfire splinters, which is used to make like the new ammo also for the upgraded bow. I remember people used to use it for the sake of fast attack speed, but again, I don't PvP. I don't know what the hell was the use of it, but attack speed, I guess. You found a piece of rare creature, so I completed that antelope quest in like actual like six catches or so, and then the next one took me three kebits. Completed that also. In the past five minutes, completed two tasks. Thank you, somebody left six kebit <laughs> spikes. I was actually going to this place, so yeah, I need to catch more of those kebits. I completed 12 rumors in total, got the next task, which was the key art. I caught one single one and it was completed now. I was treating this whole thing as a minigame. I was not even expecting it at level. I forgot that it gives even the experience. Hey, big milestone. Dragon implings finally. I don't know if I unlocked something or there was a hot fix, but if I check the boulder, there's gonna be no meat appearing nowhere. In the inventory, nowhere. I, I see the kebit teeth that people draw, but there's also no meat that they drop. I'm gonna cash this in. You know what I just also realized? That expert is not the highest tier. I just saw expert and I, I thought, oh well. There must be. There's Adept, there's Master. These are the highest ones. The whole time, for the past five hours. You need 91 Hunter to make on tier four Hunter rumors. So that was the highest that I could do. Yes, we did not waste anything. I'm curious if I can get some sort of amulet. Is this is like the way you get it? See this one, feed? You almost get it every time, but not this time, you see? Like, sometimes you don't get it, like this time also. This is, this is the one, Enchanced Quetzal Whistle blueprint there's check and craft Whoop. you need u logs and a basic quetzal whistle to craft this to access the quetzal transportation system you need a quetzal whistle and completing 10 rumors will allow players to receive a basic quetzal whistle blueprint which is a different name from enhanced quetzal whistle blueprint oh there's another guy who logged in there's no antelopes around like you know, see someone else is being chased by that this is literally <laughs> The people are crashing hunter <laughs> not crashing because there's like no other option but it's like yes sir jump i'm gonna hop world after this because this is ridiculous how slow this is but i kind of want to open these right now just in case i get like a blueprint for the lower oh my god it's a collection lock completely go killed hunter headwear wait so i i thought it was like part of the points because I opened the collection log and I saw that there's like way more items that I can obtain. Then you go to other and then you find the hunter guild and this thing, I saw this and I was like, what is it? What is the points that I get? It's apparently you just get like even the pet you get from just opening these things. Oh, lol, don't DC. This got DC'd for 10 seconds and it's yoinked. So there's only four boulders. I need to catch these pirate foxes for the very first time in like 26 contracts. But I just cannot find an empty world. Oh my god, I finally found it. But I can only do like one inventory because I have a feeling if I do this one inventory and teleport out, there's gonna be somebody just logging in. Now this guy's saying at 10 rumors you can get a whistle from the guy at the top floor. Take the free whistle blueprint. Wait, so... 
Oh no, the basic one. I didn't even check how you can get it. it requires a knife and one set of willow logs. I know the U logs crafted. You craft yourself enhanced crystal whistle. So now I should be able to teleport infinitely. So it's just a signal. Whistle has no charges. Oh, I see the room mode now. So it's gonna, you couldn't draw my target as dash and cabinet. You'll need to bring back some of its fur. So just climb up, you right click recharge and it should just recharge. Yep, then I can signal this thing. So it doesn't teleport you directly to the guild, but it teleports you to this transportation icon. Also, it seems that the enhanced whistle is not the highest one. There is a perfected one that can hold 50 charges. Actually nothing. Ooh, there's no way. It's a collection log slot. Is that the one? Wait, no, that's a kit. I got the huntsman kit, but I also got the no way on the last one also got the perfected whistle blueprint i bought one of each item from a hunter shop so now if i view the huntsman kit i can put a box trap i can put a butterfly net and a jar as well bro i cannot believe this i actually skipped i think 84 and now it's 85 already look people just popping in and popping out like i, I have to leave now so oh, that guy logged off but i just got the item so i can just teleport out maybe this no he also logged off constantly by the way it is that crowded yes so these are my findings so far any type of salamander and any type of chinchompa is like a very average task that you can get it's not too long but it's not too short usually it will take you from 30 to maybe 60 catches before you're gonna finish it although recently maybe a couple hours ago oh, there's a guy logged in uh i had a 120 chinchompa task because they stack in the inventory it was very easy to see if i could I would not do the salamander and chinchompa task because I guess you get pampered because if you get something like a dashing cabot, let's say, bro, that thing, thing every single time takes like a couple of minutes at most to do. I just went on Reddit. I love reading the comments. Hunter Guild sucks 15,000 XP per hour. Terrible contracts that take one hour to complete and loot is like 5k GP. This sucks. How come I'm pushing 80k? hunting XP an hour for like the past five hours uh, is but i didn't do that yesterday though yesterday i was pushing on average thirty-eight thousand, so it was half the experience until i realized you can cancel those just skip you know get to get something lower if you get a terrible task can i get a little bit of dopamine i've been doing this for like five hours i got 30 sacks not in five hours in this table. i think this is also calculated from yesterday more collection logs yeah two out of six let's see if we can unlock more of them also wonder if those um the blueprints you get maybe they're tradable so maybe you can get them multiple times is there like open all nope we'll bank a few items hopefully this time is gonna be god damn it, it is really filling up again i'm only planning to do 100 of these contracts and i'm not sure when i'm gonna touch this again so getting at least like you know a couple more pieces would be nice collection log slot e. completed. and maybe in these remaining collection log slot that's completed. what i mean that's what i mean baby missing like one piece i believe and you can get these and if you examine this g average fifteen thousand. wait the, damn it i still have the item and mindset <laughs> you can just buy these the perfected quetzal whistle blueprint yeah, you can buy, even buy enhanced and perfected one this one well i can't even tell well let me try to sell this for like fifteen thousand. and it's sold oh my god i thought maybe i got like double or maybe triple and i see like five five point four mil but i had a couple more left anything oh my god actually <laughs> i wanted to say that i got the second huntsman kit and i didn't even notice now get the third one also so apparently you can get duplicates. They also show up in the collection log. Very nice tip for Iron Man specifically, or maybe even main accounts if you're too lazy to bank. If you have like any, I believe, candidate and headgear, you will get always two logs from a regular tree. There's no cooldown or nothing. All right, the final 100 rumor is completed. I gotta say this whole thing took me like 20 hours. Even though sometimes I had what I completed like nine of them in one hour. So it felt like if you really, really tried, maybe you could complete this in like 12 hours or so. But yeah, like initially I didn't know if you can cancel tasks without penalty. So I was just doing like pretty much everything. Well, I got 16 sacks to go. So hopefully I'm gonna get at least that one missing piece, which is the boots. Uh, can also get the pet. I also noticed that Hunter has so many pets. It has the Chinchompa pet, then it has like Herbivore, and now it has this one, all connected to Hunter. It is crazy how annoying the skill is, and you have to do so much of it if you want to do those collection logs. 
Did I really not receive like a single one? Jesus. See, I opened a bunch of them before also. I don't think I showed them, but I just wanted to get the full outfit while I was doing still the contracts. Four out of six rumors completed 100. This is expert again, so this is not the master, not the highest tier. And I got from 82 to 86 hunter. Hold up, my bad. I forgot to price check items here yeah, because I checked the chinchompas, even like gray ones. I knew they're not going to sell. They must have crashed because of how many of them, I guess, is coming in the game. Not that much, actually. Yes, from the medium price, it's barely different. It's one mil, just in red chinchompas. I'm probably just going to sell everything for 97k each. Nice, six mil. Choose it. Then you got like two mil from Burness. Actually, it looks like a decent amount of money. So all these items couldn't sell everything, but it's approximately 10 mil that I got. And then I got two blueprints that I sold. So those were five mil each. So that's like 20 mil in total. But then I got another couple blueprints, but I actually used them on myself. So this could have been like 25 mil. It's like 1.2. 2 mil maybe GP an hour. I guess see you very soon. It is time to test out a bunch of other Varlamor activities. Bye.